Hi everyone, I'm Katie Farner, Director for the Sunshine State Superstars. I've been recently getting a lot of questions from you guys about um, communication with your, your team members and keeping track and what system do you use for that. So I wanted to share that in more detail with all of you through this video. I've mentioned in the Week in My Shoes videos in the past my frontline notebook. So I wanted to show you guys that in more detail in this video. So before I get into that though, I, cut, I want to um, kind of go off on a side note still related to what we're talking about, which is maintaining your teams. So something that I was told early on was, you know, work on your frontline, work on your frontline and teach them to do the same. And I think as you are starting your new business, that works very well as your team is small. You know, you've got maybe four or five frontline and, you know, eventually you get one person who recruits one and then maybe you've got somebody else who recruits two or three um, to help build your team. So I think early on in your business, personally, this is how I feel, early on in your business, working with your frontline is really good and teaching your frontline to do the same. However, as your frontline grows, um, like me as of today, I have 76 people in my frontline. Now, clearly, if I gave... Um, my focus um, regarding team stuff to my frontline, I would be missing a huge portion of my team because not everyone in my frontline is motivated. And as my frontline has grown to this size, there are a lot of people who are not motivated and who are not working. So now I run my business by um, they get in return from me what they give. So. If I have somebody and they're three, four, five levels deep and they are running, they are working, they get the same thing from me. I will run alongside of them. If my frontline, who happens to be their sponsor or maybe their upline, is crawling or sitting, <laughs> that's what they get from me. I give them what they give out. So Orville actually gave us this advice. He said, give your time to those who deserve it, not those who demand it. So just because you might have um, a frontline who demands a lot from you, but she's barely squeaking by every third month to avoid cancellation, she's not somebody that I would be investing my time in. Um, invest, I invest my time in those that I see that are working, or at least those are hungry. Those are you know, teachable and wanting to learn and wanting to grow. So this might be a frontline notebook, but I don't want you to be under the impression that I give my, all my one-on-one -on -one coaching only to my frontline. There are many people in my frontline notebook who um, we just talk to maybe once, we just text maybe once a month, once every two months, hey, how's it going? You know, And they're like, good, they don't need anything from me, they don't want anything from me because they're sitting or maybe they're crawling. Um, and then I have, like I said before, levels, level twos, threes, fours, and so on that are running. And so they we have a great one-on-one -on -one relationship. So as your team grows and as you find other leaders are emerging down deeper in your family, don't get caught up too much in the frontline thing. Um, this is a family, we all work together. Sponsors and all that stuff doesn't matter. We work with those who are working. So I wanted to kind of, you know, share all of that before I went into this. So. This is my frontline notebook. I use this notebook to help keep track of everybody in my frontline and remember our conversations and incentives that they've earned or um, things that I've sent them or what have you. So you can see I sort my frontline notebook by title, not by rank, by title. So again, the title is the highest position you've ever held. Your rank is what you're actually getting paid at. So just because you know somebody might have promoted a superstar consultant last fall, um, they have maybe they haven't even been paid on that all year. Maybe they have never even met that. It's never been their rank. That's okay. It's their title, so that's what I categorize them by. So in the notebook, each person in my front line has one of these. Now I want to say that um, I share some documents um, here and there on my YouTube channel, and I get. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot 
of requests for these documents. And if I emailed every single person who asked me to email these documents to them, I would not have time for my team or my own business. I'd just spend my whole day emailing. Uh, so unfortunately, I do not have the time. It would not be fair for my personal business or my team um, to make those sacrifices to be emailing um, these documents to all these people who are requesting them. So please don't ask. I do not unfortunately have that ability. I don't have an assistant or anything. I do everything myself. So at this point, I do not have the time to be able to do that, unfortunately. Um, however, I did not create this document. This document is something that my great friend Angie Courtright created, and she has shared this on the director's page generously. So if you are a director, go over to the official director's page and snatch this up. If you are not an official director, ask your director to go and grab this from the files section in the director's page and have her share it with your entire group so everyone can benefit from having this tool. So that's where you can find it, director's page. So it's a three page document and it's a consultant information sheet. It allows you to have their all of their information. Now it even says sponsor, so if you wanted to do this for your entire team, you could. However, as your team grows, is this something that you're gonna wanna maintain when you have a team of 300, 400, 500? You're gonna have to have a couple big notebooks. <laughs> so I just do this for my front line. Um, and in the um, section where there's some questions, and places for me to jot down information is where I would jot down people in their front line that are, or people within their teams that are real rock stars. So anyway, um, it's even got, I love this for my new team members because it's got a place for their launch party date, their shooting star date, did they achieve it, what level did they achieve, what's their PRV, what's their recruits. I love this because you can easily and quickly go back to this. There's also an Ascent Academy section so you can mark what portion of Ascent Academy they're actually working on right now. And then at the bottom, there is a promotion log, so you can log their promotions. So that's page one. And then page two is why for starting the business, and then when their whys change, which they inevitably do, team incentive earns, company incentives earned, and favorite things, miscellaneous notes. This is where I tend to write things like that about some performers they might have within their group. And then the last page is the contact log, date, method, and notes for the call. So every single one, person in my front line gets one of these filled out and then they slip into a sheet protector and they get filed under the uh, title. So when you look at people who are in my essential section, this is the section that gets the most use. This is the section that I'm really flipping through a lot because we work I work very closely with my new front line to help them achieve their first goals. Shooting star, and I also, for my personal frontline, well, new recruits to me, if they certify within 30 days of joining, I give them a free basket tester set as a gift. So we work really hard to get them two or three parties within their first 30 days so they can easily achieve that award. So I'm gonna show you this for an example. So here you can see, um, this is an example of one of my new consultants. So you can see she's already achieved um, shooting star She's working on her, her sensational start. I always keep a post-it with a notation of how far away they are from certified because I get so focused on getting them certified, getting them certified. The faster your new people find success, the better their launch is, the better things go for them within their first 70 days, the more likely it is that they're gonna stay around. Not only stay around, but promote up the compensation plan. So those new consultants are so important. You really have to focus your time and energy on the new people that you bring in. I mean, we know how much we have to work for a new recruit, so we better work with them hard once we get them, right? So yes, on a post-it note, once a week or so, sometimes twice a week, depending on my week, I will make a notation of how far they are from certified and date it. And then um, as time goes on, you'll see you know, this grows if they stay at essential for a while. My frontline tend to not sit at certified, uh, sit at essential for long. Um, I don't have the numbers off the top of my head, but um, for we have, a little less than a month left working towards annual mentor award, working towards the annual awards from Sensi. I have personally sponsored uh, 41, 41 people during this calendar year of Sensi's. 
and so far 29 of those 41 are certified or higher. So 29 out of 41. And last month I sponsored four, so four of them are brand new. So I'm working really hard to get at least 32 certified out of the um, 42. That's what I'm working towards. So, no wait, 32 out of the 41. So we'll see. Um, we're working hard, working together, but that's how I do that. So you'll see that when you flip through my essential section, they all have the post-its. And I've been logging how far, oops, how far they are away from certified. I also notate if they have any recruits or any potential recruits. Um, so that's my essential. And then we begin with certified. And certified is the thickest, and I'm sure it probably will be for yours as well because most people hit certified and tend to stay there. So that is my notebook. I wanted to show that to all of you guys so you can find a system that works for you. Like I said in other videos, I'm very much a paper girl. I like to have the paper in front of me because this is something I can carry around all the time. I can keep this in my bag. I can take this to work where I am right now. Um, I can have it with me wherever I go. So quick reference, you know, if I have a team member text me and she's saying something and I'm like, oh gosh, what, you know, trying to remember, then it's so easy for me to flip back to the notes and be like, oh yeah, she has a home party booked in um, the end of this month. You know, so like it helps me to remember where we last left off because trust me, as your front line grows, it can get very confusing and very complicated to distinguish between everybody, you know, and you also don't want to be like on the phone with them. So what did we talk about um, last? Where did we leave off? You know, you want to be on top of those things for them. So, you know, hey, last time we talked, we talked about um, the inviting process for your launch party. Now let's, let's dig into how we're going to run this launch party and how we're going to make it a big success. It's important that you can stay on top of those things. And this has been an absolute lifesaver to me. I was so excited when Angie Courtright created this document. So if you want to get one for yourself, head on over to the director's page or ask your director to grab them for you. Thanks so much for watching this video. Please share this video. Please subscribe. And these videos are not just for Sensi Family Consultants. Anybody in network marketing can benefit from these same ideas. We might not be selling the same products, but in network marketing, we're working the same way and the same exact principles will relate and will go across the board. So, you know, somebody who sells another network marketing business, share these videos with them. It might help them too. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.